Hello everybody, and welcome to News with Bobby and Monica. Today certain interesting events happened in genetics. This is very superstitious, because today is Gregor Mendel's birthday. Yes, very true, but before we talk about the events, why don't we give you some background information about Mendel? Okay. Gregor Johann Mendel was born on July 22, 1822 and died on January 6, 1884. He was an Austrian monk who lived in a monastery, and taught natural science to high school students in the 1800s. He is the first person, to trace the characteristics of successive generations of a living thing, and today he is known as the father of genetics. His monograph, Experiments with Plant Hybrids, is one of the most influential scientific papers in history. He once crossbred peas of different varieties just for fun. He studied the plant's different traits such as shape, size, color, and texture using the scientific method. It was during that experiment, when he noticed dominant and recessive genes. Gregor Mendel describes how some genes were overshadowed by other genes. He used Punnett squares, to predict what traits the offspring would receive. At the time it was not conventional to use math in science and his work did not receive much publicity until a long time after his death. Now for the events. A man tried to climb a life-size model of DNA. Oh really? It's true. The man created a 40-foot tall DNA model. He thought since DNA is sometimes called the twisted ladder, he could climb his structure. Well, it ended in pain. The Home Depot was later sued by him, because they had low-quality products. Oh my! Now for the next event in other news. A mutated specimen has escaped from a biomedical laboratory. Scientists warn that it is a wild animal, and could be very unpredictable. If cornered it will attack. Yes, Drosophila melanogaster is a much wilder cousin of the Musca domestica. These animals have a history of terrible relationships with humans. It's a fly, Monica. I think you're overreacting. Anyway, the fly is mutated, and has short wings, and cannot fly. Still, the police urge people not to pick up hitchhikers. You never know. Now, we will have a special guest over to talk to us about asexual reproduction. Please welcome Dr. Ted Human Shguar. Thank you Bobby. First tell us the basic information about asexual reproduction. Well, asexual reproduction is the type of reproduction in which one organism splits into two pieces, to form another exact replica of itself. So, Ted, why do organisms choose to reproduce asexually anyway? Well, in a stable environment the organism can reproduce quickly, and the process is easier, because only one organism is needed. I see. Now for our last question. Which organisms reproduce asexually? Well, some examples that reproduce only asexually are the amoebas, bacteria, hydras, and paramecium, but there are also some use both sexual and asexual reproduction. Oh, I get it. Well, thank you for being with us today, Dr. Human Schneider. No, no, thank you for having me. That was interesting. Yeah, I know. Anyway, we found an interesting video on YouTube about two scientists and their contributions to cloning. Yes. And here it is.
Hmm. Cloning is a very interesting subject. I agree, but it's weird too. Well, that's it for today, folks. Thanks. Bye.